out and solicit in front of uh, McDonald's and beg for money like you do and then smoke your drugs and shoot up like a fucking pincushion. We don't do that, Cracky. You're the only junkie out here. Look at he chuckles over nothing. That's that's what you that's when you know he's psychotic and he's a dope fiend. Chuckles after every sentence. Was he call them green machines? Hey yeah, uh, green machine, uh Hey, you ever see him in some of his videos? He goes up to the guy, and the guy rolls up the window. He goes, ah, he's not talking to me today. Yeah, because you're a bum. People know, you know. I'm surprised he doesn't have a squeegee. That's that's what he's missing. He needs a squeegee. Well, the gas station on 194 Utica, man, they beat his ass down because he fucking tried to put dirty water on top of somebody's windshield, and they fucked him up. 194 was in a problem building. 194 was in a problem building. <laughs> Get it? I said 194. All right, the gas station. Why you got like that? So he's a retard, but he knows what I'm talking about. They fucked him up. That's why he didn't want the gas station no more. I want to know what happened. Everyone's radio. He said he did. He did pit bulls. He said he did the big man's and Mike Snatcher. Uh, what, what happened? How come when uh, when I asked those gentlemen that did R R Richie do your radio, they go fuck no. Richie never touched our radio. As a matter of fact, Richie hasn't done anyone's radio in the Super Bowl. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. At least he's telling the truth. He's coming clean. He's coming clean. All over your face. Damn, hit him with the jizz. Danny Magoo. Attention. Richie, when are you going to actually look in the mirror and, uh, and just look at yourself and see that you're just a failure? 51 year old parasite. Damn. I thought that nigga was like 70 years old, man. That nigga Tecato. Tecato. He does look like he's in his late 60s, though. Damn, man. Shame on it. 51? Holy shit. And you know what he's going to tell you? Uh, yeah, I had a bad life. You didn't have a bad life. You're just a bum. Oh, now he's talking to Doc. You hear this? You don't hear no Doc out here. Oh, dog. Dog, Doc. It sounds the same coming out of your mouth because you have no teeth. You can't pronounce words correctly. What happened to that bullshit bike he used to have? Well, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. He got laid out. He got robbed in front of McDonald's. That's when they say, hey, we see Richie asleep in front of McDonald's. He wasn't sleeping. He got laid out. <clears throat> what happened to that gigabyte, Cracky? Remember how proud he was? Remember how he got the Red Baron getup? He had the fucking scarf, the goggles, and he had a Nazi helmet with the spike on the top. Remember that? Yeah, he thought he was a fucking... He thought he was in a motorcycle club. Yeah, the, 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 he, was, uh, he was in the, uh, the crew, the gay boys uh, from Flatbush. Whatever happened to that gigabyte, Cracky? Come on, talk about it. He didn't want to talk about it. He tried to forget that shit. Because he got punked and he got slapped the fuck out, man. They punched him right in the grill. They're like, come here. Yo, give me that bike. Hey, yeah, dog, uh, I got four badges. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to take that bike. You're going to get knocked the fuck out. And then when you wake up, you can count your badges. I said, I'm not that Mary cry about my dude. Then if you looked at the seat, it had plastic on it. Nasty.
<laughs> yeah, well, now it's a virgin seat for someone else to use because you don't own it anymore. You got robbed. Well, you know, if I told you to shoot, we'd never hear the end of it. So let me come clean for you, man, just because we heard you make up so many stories. I wrapped it up. That day I was, that those three days I was off the radio, dude, it was all because I was laid up in the fucking hospital with a fractured arm. Oh, now he had a fractured arm. Look at this. On King's Highway, and I wrapped it up. There you have it now, folks. Now all the stories. <laughs> you crashed on that fucking bullshit bike. <laughs> it's like a moment. <laughs> He, yo, he cra he racked it up on King's Highway. He had a, a, an accident. He thought he was on a motorcycle. He thought it was a motorcycle. He had a fractured arm. Get the fuck out of here, Richie. You better come up with a better one than that. <laughs> he said he racked it up on King's Highway. He had a fractured arm. He was in the hospital. Hey, hey Richie, you're out here every day. You were not in no hospital. You got robbed. Just admit it. And because you were instigating yesterday, you were trying to instigate with the man's brother between me and Shaft. I have no problem with John Shaft. You were trying to instigate, Richie. Now stop your shit. And you were trying to, uh, you know, pretend that uh, that Bron Horner didn't know what time it was. When he clearly told you, he talked to his brother. And he told you the deal. And you had like four videos instigating bullshit. Because that's all that was, Richie. I don't have a problem with John Shaft. And Bron Horner knows that. But you're out there trying to instigate shit that I never said to the man or about the man about radios. See, that's your problem, Richie. You, you always want someone to fight your battles. You're always trying to throw someone in front of you. But the man's smarter than that. He's not co-signing for you, and that's the bottom line. And that's it. Don't, don't say, oh, you got to get up to date. The man don't want to hear that. Stop instigating with people, throwing people in front of you, and fight your own battles, Richie. For once in your life, you 51-year-old bum, be a man of do your own, man. Do you. All right? This has nothing to do with John Shaft. This has to do with you instigating and, and being a little bitch. Well, you know, Mr. Enforcer, I didn't instigate nothing. You spent 54 minutes of your video game time yesterday screaming and yelling, swearing that I didn't do this, that, and the other thing. You're using a man whose brother had didn't have, wasn't, had no knowledge or wasn't up to date. If anybody out here can find instigating in any video game, they're going to find it in yours. If they can find any problem or me instigating, I never said you had a problem with John Sam. But you dropped his name so many times in the last two months on video game, I couldn't help it. That's a lie. 
You're the one out here talking about the man, saying you did his radio, bragging about it. Hey, Richard, stop it already. Just like you were bragging, you did Pitbull, the big man, and Mike Snatch's radio. And when I go there, when I went to six, to the Super Bowl, all three of them said that they never, you never fucked with their radio. You were nowhere near their radio. And that, that goes for more people on it. I'm not mentioning anyone else's name. But I would say about five, six, seven people all said the same thing. Richie never touched our radios. Tell that boy to get the fuck out of here. They even threw you off the channel, Richie. You're a joke out here. You're a clown. That's why people go to Deltas. They'd rather take a trip to the Bronx than deal with your dumb ass. Because all you could do is turn the fucking VRs, every VR in the radio, just like you fucked up your 2950, where you don't even have a clue of how to repair it. What did you do? First it was all frequency. Then he sounded like the Tin Man. We used to clown him. Then what does he do? He blows the finals. It's still fucked up. And you know what he says? Uh, uh, I'm not experienced with MOSFETs. MOSFETs and bipolar transistors are the same procedure to re when it comes to uh, replacing those uh, devices, Richie. The reason why you don't know what you're doing is because you're a drug addict. You're a dope fiend. All right? You like to hold hands. You like to instigate. And then you like to sit back like a little girl and start giggling. You're a joke out here, Richard. Anyway, I got to get out of here. Bad boy, Brown Hornet, 911. Everyone out there, 73. I got to go, man. With that, Enforcer 250, I got to go. Time to make the donuts. It's about that time. Richie, I'm going to say it once and I'm going to say it again. I got no beef with, with uh, John Shaft, so stop mentioning his name and my name in the same sentence. All right? One day you'll grow some balls, Richie, and meet me at CVS over there in Houston, East Houston, between Mott and Mulberry. When that day comes, then uh, we'll see what time it is, and maybe you'll meet your daddy. With that, Enforcer 250, be, beware and be clear. Of course, Richie is queer. <laughs> Take care, guys. 250 off the key. You could talk about me for the rest of the morning, Richie. Go ahead. But that's what you do best. Smoke crack and talk about people.
And that's the truth.
This conservative radio, this 70, whatever this 70 is, I know what he has in his mobile, and I know he did not work on that radio. That's what I'm just trying to tell you and say it the whole entire time, because y'all know what I'm trying to hear what I'm saying. And he said the same exact thing like I said. You worked on his friend's radio. You worked on his friend's radio. The guy did this, he didn't have the money to pay for it. My brother, just my brother paid for it, or whatever the case it is. I don't know how the situation went. I don't know. But my brother wanted to know with the radio. So don't come out and say you worked on John Shad Radio, okay? It wasn't his radio at the time. At the time, it was his friend's radio. To the guy didn't give, never come back and pay up and pay for the radio. Then it became his radio. Now you understand what I'm trying to tell you and explain to you? Hey, Mr. Brown Order, you are correct. But you see, the thing Mr. 250 is bickering about left and right has nothing to do with before that radio, dude. It has to do with the base station, his galaxy that he uses for his base. I, 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 I didn't get the concept messed up. I'm the one that told you exactly the story. I, you know, it was a friend of his radio. He's trying to backpedal. But the guy never paid him for it and never picked it up, so it never left his possession. Now it is officially his radio, like he told the whole world yesterday. And yes, that loud, crystal clear, bag of audio you hear out there uh, belongs to Richie. The base station he's been talking on for over three and a half years. It comes down, conversations down. Y'all look at that. I, 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 I,
ain't going nowhere. Watch. He's still there talking shit. Watch. Attention. This is the MCA DL Carry Tunnel. Be aware. As you approach the tunnel, you will encounter an overhead condition. Maximum head clearance is 12 foot 1 inch. Vehicles over 12 1 must exit and seek alternate route. Mm. Attention, this is your MTA Queens Midtown Tunnel. Be aware, as you approach the tunnel, you will encounter an overhead position. Maximum head clearance is 12 foot 1 inch. Vehicles over 12 foot 1 inch must exit and seek alternate route. Mm. Oh, I 